what is going on everybody, how are we all doing and welcome back today to another brand new Inform play review on FIFA 17 and today we are looking at a very highly requested Inform from this week's team of the week, that is the Inform position change, Joe Mario. I was intending to bring this out for the weekend just gone, however there was the Gabriel Jesus review, there was the vlog, there was all sorts going on so it's a bit delayed this review so I do apologise for that but without any further ado we're going to get things rolling with this. We're kicking things off with the basic information as always, Joe Mario stands at 5 foot and 10 inches tall, he's got medium to high work rates, he's got a 4 star weak foot and 3 star skill moves and when you look at his base card and his top 5 in game stats he's an 85 rated cam of course position changed from his usual position which is a right mid and his base card you're looking at 78 pace 87 dribbling, 80 shooting, 86 passing, 79 physical and 74 defending, sorry 78 physical and 74 defending and I do think I'll say straight off the bat, in fact we'll go through the, uh, the top 5 in games then we'll talk about it, he's got 95 stamina which is incredible, he's got 18 on ball control, he's got 18 on short passing, 88 vision and 88 dribbling and the only trial speciality that he comes with is the playmaker one which isn't necessarily a bad one but that is the only one he comes with. You can see the team that we used to be on screen now, we're playing a 4-3-1-2 Serie A team or Calcio as it's now known and in the 5 games that we play with Joe Mario in that camp position he came away with 4 goals and 2 assists, all those games were played in seasons and um, as we start to get the clips rolling now, I was just about to mention it then but um, really it's a bit of a strange one because I do feel like the, the position change from right mid to central of the park, the, not necessarily come but the middle of the park does suit this card because the stats that he's got base card wise are just a lot, lot, lot more they put to better use in the middle of the park basically. It doesn't make a great winger, but if you played him in the centre of the park, particularly as a central midfielder, not necessarily a cam, just a flat out CM, like a box to box player, I think he'd be really, really solid. I'll try to make it in the camp position because that's where he ships out. And in that position, he did reasonably well. Four goals was very good. He's finishing up being very, very tidy when he got in a goal. His passing was also great. Very, very nice dribbling as well. But. In that camp position, the one thing that held him back were the work rates, medium high. I actually had instructions on him to get forward and even still then I found him dropping back a little bit. Maybe it wasn't as noticeable as it would be if I didn't have the instructions, but I still found him dropping back a little bit too much, more than I wanted him to. And the other thing that ruins him a little bit is the lack of four-star skill moves, although it does come with a good weak foot. Overall, we're going to be giving him an 8 out of 10. Like I say, for me, the position change does in the world of good. He's a lot better in the centre of the pot than he is on the wing. However, I wouldn't necessarily recommend using him at Cam, especially in Calcio 18s, where there's a lot of choice. The likes of Pjanic, the likes of Hamsik, there's a lot of choice there. So, I wouldn't necessarily say he's the new best Cam in the Calcio A. However, as far as just flat out sentiments go, he's definitely worth using in that position. I really do think he could do a great job there with his defending, his physical, his pace, stamina, all that stuff. But, um, like I said, overall we're going to be giving him an 8 out of 10. That's going to round up this play video. Leave a big thumbs up on the re review if you did enjoy it. And I'll speak to you all in tomorrow's video for a brand new informer. Uh, sorry, for a brand new episode in the road to glory. So I'll catch you all there, lads. Have a great rest of your evening. Need you out. Yo, he's niche, plays with big games and player reviews are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates his video quality, resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching Vince and you know the story. The content is underrated, I'm understating, so don't ignore the like game.